Digitising your archives doesn't have to be as expensive or complicated as you think. Many institutions and individuals are capable of starting to digitally preserve their data straight away. There's a concept being discussed amongst the digital preservation community in recent years, and that is for minimal viable preservation, uh, which basically translates to taking a more minimal approach to the initial creation and maintenance of a digital archive. Tim Gollins of the British National Archives has written a paper about this, uh, which I'll be summarising the main points of here, but I will link it down below in the caption. So, how long can we realistically preserve data for? Ideally forever, and this is what a lot of institutions aim for. However, this involves a lot of planning and mitigation for theoretical issues that may never actually occur. So, Gollins' suggestion is to look at it more like a stewardship role preserving material long enough for the next generation to take over. This automatically reduces how much you need to do as a digital archivist and also how much you need your software to do. So out of all the possible risks to the long-term survival of digital material, you may find you only need to focus your attentions on a couple for the time being. For example, adequate capture of your initial data will reduce issues further down the line. This may seem obvious, but inadequate capture of data is quite often con not considered the most pressing issue in comparison to issues like hardware, software and removable media obsolescence and things like bit rot. But with this stewardship role in mind, as long as you mitigate obsolescence as and when it occurs, which you can usually see coming, and reduce the risk of removable media obsolescence by uploading the data to your storage network straight away, all you actually need to prioritise is adequate initial capture of your data and a storage software that will ward against bit rot, um, provide a virus check and a quarantine zone to prevent any viruses from making their way into your storage system. Also, depending on how much you're planning on storing, you may need to prioritise finding software that can store a large amount of data. Gollin summarises, saying the minimal intervention implied means minimal alteration, which brings the benefits of maximum integrity and authenticity. It also means a minimal assumption as to what the future may bring or enable. So, what does this mean for setting up your own digital archive or continuing to curate your own archive? This focus will reduce how much you need your software to do, and therefore how long it will take you and how much it might cost you. The Curate software was born from this idea of MVP and was designed to embody this approach to digital preservation. As Gollin's suggestion, on uploading your files there is a virus check and the files can be put into a quarantine section. There is also an appraisal section and the ability to categorise your files the way that you need to. Um, plus it automatically scales up its size as and when your data size increases. You can also easily migrate your files into another digital preservation provider if you want to. And that's it, a much simpler approach which also makes it much easier and cheaper to maintain your archive. Let me know if you found this interesting or if there's anything else you want me to talk about or expand upon in the comments. I will add the links and the references in the caption.